Okay, good evening to everyone. Welcome back to RoboCup at Home Education. So today we are going to do this online classroom for standard platform, Pepper Robot. Okay, so I'm Jeffrey from RoboCup at Home Education. And today together with me, uh, we have uh, engineers from um, SoftBank Robotics. So we will discuss the topic on Pepper body motion development. Okay. So uh, first thing, I'm not sure uh, if uh, anyone is new today, uh, but just let me briefly go through the arrangement. So uh, this will be a two hours uh, class, and then um, we will run this class uh, with uh, some demonstration uh, from SoftBank. Hopefully this week we can see some robots or else some, um, but we will go through uh, the hands on together. Okay, so um, please prepare your desktop with you. Uh, for example, you have already installed your software. Okay, so um, hopefully we can do the class together with hands on and you have uh, the robot with you. Okay, so um, the first link is about the arrangement for the class. So we have this class every uh, Tuesday and um, you can use the meeting link on the top right hand side uh, to access. And also if you go to our website, you can see we are actually having uh, other classes as well. So if you are interested, yeah, feel free to go to the first link and check out the detail for all the classes. Then the material in sort of uh, you, you can actually uh, access uh, from our cost materials website. So robot4all.net, you can go there, sign up an account, and then you enroll this class. You can uh, access uh, the, the slides that you can see in front of you. And also, um, we actually recording uh, the class uh, for every class. So we will put up the video recording uh, after one week. I mean like, so which mean like um, after the class, we will do the editing, then we will put up uh, at the same place, okay? So uh, the place that you can find our course materials, you can also find uh, the video, okay? Uh, so just in case that if you miss any of the class or you want to see the previous one, or you want to do some revision, yes, you can go to the course materials site uh, to find all these materials. And lastly, uh, we will have Q&A session um, throughout the class. Uh, but if let's say you have anything you want to contact us or you want to discuss, yeah, feel free to go to the classroom. Okay, so before I start, um, uh, I would like to give you the final reminder. It's like, please, uh, please try to uh, refrain from turn on your microphone and also your camera. Uh, we will have Q&A session um, along the class. So you, during the time for the interaction, yes, you are welcome to interact with us. Then other than that, yeah, just um, uh, keep your webcam and also your microphone uh, off. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Right, let's start um, the class for today. So today we will talk about pepper body motion. So pepper body motion over here, uh, because next week we will talk about how to move the pepper around. So the body motion over here is mainly uh, the upper part of the body. So that means um, we are talking about how to move the pepper head around and also the upper limb around and also the body, right? Like the waist and so on. So uh, we know that pepper uh, is a semi uh, humanoid robot. So semi is because like without the two legs, but it can still move around. So next week we'll talk about how to actually make pepper to move around. But today we'll focus on the body motion. Okay, so what we can do with the, uh, I think like more than 20 joints, uh, throughout the whole body. So you can actually design very nice movement uh, because um, very human-like uh, uh, anatomy. So um, we can actually design, uh, for example, like very nice performance, like dancing performance, like do some acting performance and so on. That uh, will be a very good complement to what we have learned in the past two weeks. For example, uh, we learned how the pepper can say things and express so you can uh, couple together with the body motion and you can make Pepper like an actor or give some performance, for example, like singing, dancing and so on. So it is a very nice uh, combination with uh, other features together uh, to make Pepper become like an, a performance, okay? Right, so today we'll focus on how to develop the body motion of Pepper. 
and um, I divided the content into these two parts. OK, so there are two things that uh, we can discuss today about the pepper body motion development. So the first one is the timeline body motion arrangement. OK, so this one is um, is very similar like we, we we write a song. OK, so we have the timeline or we, we how to say uh, we editing a video, for example. So we have the timeline. So uh, following the timeline, we can design what is the body, uh, what is the pepper body motion uh, at a certain time frame. So for example, like um, in the first uh, time frame, the body motion is this posture. Then after that, the next one or the after one second, then the body motion will be another posture. Then um, the software will automatically try to arrange so that Pepper can move the body according to the posture you want at a particular time. OK, so this is about the timeline using body motion arrangement. Then um, uh, in this body motion arrangement also, we have several ways to do it. OK, so the first way maybe is uh, the manual way, which is you will, you will need to like um, specify the joint angle for each of the joint. And this is more accurate. And, and also um, we know that in choreograph, we have a virtual robot. So in there, you can actually see all the tiny little detail, for example, like the joint angle and so on. So you will do the arrangement over there, right? But this might be very tedious if you have a very long uh, arrangement or very uh, or you want to do like very um, complicated movement. OK, so um, another way of doing the timeline is um, you have uh, uh, you can move the body of the real pepper. OK, in order for you to do the arrangement. So this is very similar, like you are teaching, for example, like yoga or teaching dancing where the instructor actually move your body, right? So we, we have various ways. So we will discuss about this after this, about this timeline body motion arrangement. Then the second one is uh, we actually have a library of preset animation. So preset uh, movement that is already, that are already like um, designed by the, by the developer and they put this, um, preset animation into uh, one library that you can actually search according to some category. OK, so um, for example, like um, you can make Pepper to uh, imitate certain uh, action of animal, for example, like 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 try to try to uh, imitate um, elephant, for example, then they got a motion like um, to make Pepper act like an an elephant and so on, right? So we have a set of preset animation that you can actually uh, combine with whatever that you have designed in the body motion arrangement and become a series of very nice uh, action that you can use it for your uh, pepper uh, performance. OK, so this is the overview of what uh, is going to be covered today, and I hope you enjoy uh, this class so that you can actually develop very nice movement for Pepper. OK, so for the first part, um, the timeline body motion arrangement. Uh, we there is actually only one uh, instruction box to use. OK, so over here, uh, the instruction box you can search is called timeline. OK, so this timeline, you just drag it uh, to your to your drawing box. Then after that, you can start your uh, editing and for your body. Uh, animation okay right so important thing is not over here but how you actually do the editing is after this okay but this box basically uh it will start uh the module for you to uh, edit the body motion sequence okay so once you put the the instruction box uh you can you can connect them right so that uh you can start them as uh, you start Pepper, and you can stop also Pepper the, or you exit the program as you finish the timeline. Okay, so that is uh, pretty much the normal way to do it. But if you double click on this, you actually can see uh, something happen on top of your choreograph. So uh, something actually appear, which is actually that is the behavior layer. Okay, so you have a behavior layer and also you have a motion layer. So, and you can see this timeline that appear is very much similar like when you editing, for example, a video. OK, so you have the time, uh, you have the timeline, then on each of it, each of the frame, you can actually do some setting. OK, 
Okay, you can do some setting and you can actually open up uh, the behavior layer below that to see uh, what are uh, the things that happening within Pepper. Because like sometimes when you uh, put in other boxes, they actually have some behaviors. Oh, and also you can check this detail okay, from there, right? So later on, you will see uh, this small little detail that um, slowly you will understand the concept of how uh, the timeline is being designed okay, for Pepper. Then um, another thing that you need to take notice is like uh, the virtual robot. Okay, so the robot view over there will be very important now because that uh, will give you uh, the detail of uh, how to say that will actually represent uh, the movement of the robot, so that you can actually um, design like giving the joint angle uh, for the virtual robot in order for you to set that posture into the timeline. Okay, so that, that is basically uh, how you use the timeline for body motion arrangement. Okay, then um, up there, so you can see the timeline for the motion there. You can actually, um, there, there's actually a cursor that will run. So you can actually move the cursor to indicate which um, time or which time frame that you want to set certain posture. Okay. So over here, like uh, in the virtual robot, you can actually select each of the joint and down there will show you the particular uh, joint angle. Okay, if your choreograph is connected to your robot, so it will actually reflect the actual uh, joint angle that currently uh, the robot having. Okay, so it is actually um, connected uh, to the sensors within the robot so that it can actually feedback the, the actual um, joint angle. Okay, so you can actually change the joint angle. So you can see uh, on the right hand side down there, uh, all the joint with have like, for example, like this R um, elbow um, row. So that is for a particular joint. And then you can see there is actually a value there which indicate the joint angle. So we can change or you can adjust this angle and the posture of the robot will uh, be changed or updated accordingly. Okay, so once you are satisfied with um, the posture that you want, you can press F8 to, how to say, uh, save or record the particular uh, posture for the particular time frame. Okay, so for example, like uh, you can put like a, a keyframe over there. Okay, so this one by pressing F8, you, you give a mark there. There's a black dot there. So you put this marker to indicate that during that time, you want the pepper posture to be in a certain way. Okay, then you scroll down the timeline, you go to another time frame, and then you save another posture. And this is how you do the arrangement for the body motion. Right, but of course, like you can also delete it if let's say you make some mistake. And you can actually drag it as well. Okay. Then after you finish set all this thing, you can also uh, do the normal thing. For example, like you can uh, make people say something like how you did previously. Okay. Then um, this behavior can you you can actually design them uh, together with the timeline so that you can have a matching movement with matching uh, behavior. For example, like you want the robot to say something. Uh, when doing something, or when when you, for example, like you 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 are designing a pepper as an actor, right? So the pepper is doing the acting. So during the acting, the pepper might doing some motion. Then after that, say some words. Then after that, you do another series of action and so on. So you can actually design the behavior and the motion uh, together by looking at the timeline. Right. So in, in later on, we will we will have uh, an example that you can download the example from our GitHub repository. You open up, then we will see uh, the detail there, and um, we will show you how to actually do this uh, adjustment. Okay, so later on, um, our engineers from SoftBank will show you exactly how you want to do this arrangement so that we can have a synchronized movement and also uh, behavior together. So that um, you can have precisely like at this particular moment, the pepper will say something and after finish, then the pepper will do something else. 
write the movement. Okay. Right, so these are the details like um, how we actually get the result or how we, we actually got the uh, arrangement in the in the example. So you can go through the detail after this. Right, so when you run uh, the example, you can see like at the beginning, um, Pepper will stand up and say like, I'm moving. Then, uh, then the Pepper will start to move the right elbow joint, okay? Then uh, after that, it will follow by the left elbow joint and then both, okay, right. So then after that, you can uh, actually add some other thing uh, to, to make the movement more interesting. Okay, and you, you can also like, for example, like play a song so that Pepper will, will act like dancing and so on, right? But over here, we just show you a very simple example to see how you want to lift uh, the, the elbow one by one, uh, follow the time that we set in the timeline. Okay, so basically that is uh, the explanation on the uh, timeline body motion arrangement that using the uh, manual, ma manual way, which means like in a choreograph, you do the marking. Okay, then there's actually another way, but I will keep it uh, for the next session. So uh, now I would like to invite uh, engineers from um, SoftBank, Austin, to yeah. actually show you the detail in choreograph operation. All right. Okay. Much. <clears throat> All right. Oh, today, uh, thank you for joining this uh, online classroom. And um, th this class is, is also very important because we cover uh, all about from the uh, the functions of peppers, from the, the, the that that peppers speak, and uh, do do the sensing, uh, even do the face detection. And today we're going to cover the this kind of category of uh, uh, we we call that we it's an animation. Yeah, uh, basically we uh, our class we follow these uh, from uh, from the this uh, uh, collection of uh, uh, function. <clears throat> so, um, it, it, uh, first of all, I just want you guys to look at this pepper. Uh, pepper is uh, that's why we call this pepper is a humanoid robots because they really like a human. It's like like human being. And uh, they have different uh, freedom, freedom, degrees. Like uh, the arms have can move like a re real arm of uh, of people, and also the head it has they have two degree uh, freedom degrees. They can move uh, actually uh, actually on on the ground. So um, in this class, we want we really want to cover the timeline is is belongs to the animation. So here we're gonna we're gonna open this uh, folder, uh, just to check about what what, what is it about inside it. Uh, the first level of the, uh, creation, they have some go to and a play stop and a timeline. So that's the basic of the creation of creation animation. We we mean that we can make we can try to edit or create some uh, some movements with some movements or animations or pepper. So, that's a creation, and also they have, still have some dialogue animation, which is gonna combine the animation with the dialogue. It's a, a very uh, d diversity of a, diversity of a functions combined together, <clears throat> and uh, they have another uh, category like moves. Um, this moves they they just try to express the, uh, to express the um, impressions by by mo movements um, i mean the animation uh, data by paper and other parts about animation just so you know if uh, we, we if we let pepper move it's like human they can do some dancing and uh, they also can do some do, do some dancing with music so that's a very very mood and also make entertainment to people okay all about all about all this this uh, animation uh, category. Important the important uh, instruction boxes we we we're gonna cover today is the timeline. So first of all, we have the third class we call the animation. 
and this folder we, we can find it they have the present animation tutorial and another one is called timeline one when we just uh, click on it open it we still we, we what we can see here is only one instruction box and i will gonna i'm gonna run this box after i give you the instru inst instruction first of all um it's uh with we when we see uh instruction box or even we get a box we need to compare with our uh, our default library or just uh and just check it it's it, it exists in the, it, it's a, it, in the current library or we need to just we just created a new exist python script okay <clears throat> as the name and uh, name it we can search from the timeline but i, I already showed it it's from the animation and uh, under the animation we can we can saw the uh, timeline under the un, under the creation folder i just drag this uh, <clears throat> timeline instruction box we just give comparison this is a timeline and, and this is name and the icon even they, they have the same inputs and outputs so which means we we don't we we use the standard timeline we don't even add it to 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 put more actions from the inputs and do some actions from the outputs <clears throat> uh this box is very special uh than others we like we talked before it's a safe instruction box they have some when we double click on the instruction box we can see uh the actual codes behind behind it like this when we click on it, we can see the Python code behind it. But when we click, I just did it. Click the timeline. This is a change. Diff, the the code graph got to change the different different the appearance. I mean, this is add an actual. This is the add actual panels under, but above above the the uh, the original uh, code graph panel. So this is a new new panel we call the timeline from here okay and below this timeline it's very unique and it's very original uh, core graph we can edit or we can try to program with it as as all we always do it use uh, as euro okay um if if we click on the timeline we just they just uh, this uh, uh, timeline panel just jumping out we 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 know that uh, okay this this is a panel we should analysis on it <clears throat> and before we know we want to know the functions of timeline we need to know some tools or the buttons meaning and uh, uh, they have different concepts of uh, uh, layers so i'm gonna introduce a little by little step by step and try to make you understand about it <clears throat> and once we sh we just saw the timeline we can think uh this like a uh, uh, video editor right at video editor we have some uh, uh curves cursors and to recording some uh, points to make it to make us to re recording the value inside it for for the this timeline timeline uh with the motion layer uh, we call we can call this the, uh, this one uh, we, with the the horizontal panel. We cover this like uh, the motion layer, and it's under under the motion layer, we can see that they still have the behavior layer. Okay, and in the motion layer, we can try to click on one of that to know what what's going on, what functions behind this button. Another one is the first one we call it the timeline editor. When we edit, we can see the timelines, the editors, uh, the, the curves, even we can use a button to uh, analysis. The, uh, it's the right position we put into the paper uh, or the, the, code, the whole um, uh, animation we did is uh, cracked with the, our, our music. It's, it's a sync up or not. So that's the tools used to analysis our our the, the positions. And another one we call uh, timeline timeline property. It's I think it's very important. 
So just to tell you, we can think of the, the video editing uh, parts. We call, they, they still have some frame frame rates concept, which which means they just uh, recording some. Um, they, they have it's like a video. They have many different pictures in one second. So here it's the same it's same concept and it's the same meaning. Uh, in, in one seconds we can uh, we can have 25 free, uh, frame rates. OK, here we can judge. We, we can adjust this value even lower and uh, higher. <clears throat> and it's still another mode. This is that passive mode and uh, waiting mode and aggressive mode. I just want to uh, just a quick, uh, quick, uh, quick uh, uh, response to answer your questions because they have the uh, let the, the engine to stop wait for something and they still have the try to uh, do something before the uh, before the, um, the motor is running. Um, but if you wanted to know more the details behind it, we you can search from the website. But here definitely default, we, we would just choose the passive mode. OK, this the last one we have the resources. OK, we can add some resources like uh, from the LEDs, uh, from the LEDs and motors, states, audios, but it actually, but sometimes we really don't we don't we don't do it by this way. We can edit some actions or resources from this panel from here. OK. Uh, in this panel, we what we need the value we need to focus on is the frame rate. It's very important. Just uh, tell us uh, how many frames in one second. <clears throat> OK. That's the that that's the very um, important part uh, uh, buttons. Oh, but this one is the definition to give the definition of the properties we need to we need to take care. And uh, some other parts, it's trying to run this uh, uh, framework. Uh, it's trying to run with the with this motion layer, which means uh, they're gonna start start. They're gonna like running the video editing. This is trying to start with the green flag and uh, on this uh, ruler to and cross every cursors to run to the to the end. OK. And uh, below that, we can see that how this to have the behavior layer, um, which means uh, like. Uh, we, we can think of, we can back, we can compare with this is a pro project files. They still have the behavior, right? So behavior, we sometimes all sometimes this means they just do some actions beside and actions combine with these emotions. OK, they first of all, they have the keyframe uh, with this keyframe. Uh, the behavior layers is matched with this panel. We can edit something like uh, see something or or this enemy to see or multiple introduction box we can edit and trying to run we know that it's a start point start point and uh, trying to run with the three those instruction uh, instruction box connection see in sequence and this keyframe is uh, to compare with the uh, just 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 a comp just match it with the, this uh, actions Still, uh, like what I said, we can add in more layers. You can do some other actions. So like uh, um, you can do the sensing, maybe face face detection like so or what we talked before the uh, before the previous previous class. <clears throat> OK. Here we, we can add it some more keyframe trying to add actions way to just uh, adjust it. And sync up with the motions we did uh, with this act, this uh, behavior layers. Uh, make more, make make a pepper more uh, vivid and uh, very like a human being. Uh, it, 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 some it, very simple examples like this. We only have one layer and uh, try to see something, not to see something, just uh, give some motions like a dance. Absolute dance. Okay, 
this is the tell pepper do some tai chi tai chi train uh dance <clears throat> okay that's the what's that that's what's difference between the motions and some behavior layer uh but for the behavior layer we know that it's a it's the same like we were programming before uh but we just add emotion into it uh, the important parts we want I want to introduce is with the motion layer and uh, it's combined the uh, in, uh, combined the pep the freedom uh, free, freedom degrees um, uh, oh pepper so here we can you use this simulator simulator try to simulate all the animations from our uh, from what we do and uh, when we click one of the one of the arms from Pepper, we can see they have some different. They just show the different values and uh, tell you which parts which parts of a Pepper Pepper's body can move from the inspector. Okay, but they have the different values. Trying uh, uh, different values, you can adjust it from the panel to make it happen. All right. Oh, like uh, what you said before. Uh, we know that pepper can move uh, the frame rates in seconds at uh, 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 25 frame rate fr frames in one second. Normally, we just uh, put the uh, uh, this is for example, we just uh, put it uh, here. Uh, a curse, a cursors here. They have uh, uh, when we click on it, this is a turn into a uh, orange color. But uh, if we want to add it, at least some other parts, some other curves. So maybe we can try to 50 and another seconds. I mean, I mean, from here to here, it's totally two seconds. <clears throat> we want to add some actions like uh, uh, try to uh, uh, move just uh, up, lift, lift the uh, right, the right arm. We can. Okay, just a turn. I'm gonna a elbow row. Okay, when we when we adjust these values, just the they just turn into a gray color, which means they, they just re recording the values I changed in this inspectors. Right here, if you want to change change it, you can click on it to see what happened in this in this cursors. Okay. Uh, once then I can change to some change some values and here we, we, we just move it and they're going to turn just uh, turn into the green color the which means this is automatically re records values we set. OK, and uh, another very important part so we just when we move the move our mouse into this uh, cursors we can see the actually actuator values just a re record from here and um, that's that's that that's the important parts when you uh want to just adjust uh, uh the position slightly it's uh, it's they're very important <clears throat> okay and uh, i'm trying to add it to some more cursors because this is very easy maybe you can to add is this uh, another 25 from the 70 75 which means this is a second three seconds of, at this point okay we can move the hat we can uh, here we just uh, tap it on the simulator's uh, uh, the, the, pe the peppers peppers hat and I'm gonna adjust its values make uh, the peppers had more pitch and then we should try to back this uh, point they just they just they just tell me the head pitch is uh, uh, 30 30.9 30 and, uh, and on the next seconds we know that it's 100 and um, maybe we need to Keep forward. Yeah. Another value. And we're back to here. We can see this this this, this value is 25.5. Point, point OK. 
<coughs> that's the odd value I just use this is uh, tools. I mean the motion layer tools to record the odd value. And, uh, and at, at this part, we really don't have uh, uh, today. We really don't have the real pepper around me, but uh, for the timeline or the animation parts, we can uh, with the help we can use the, the help with uh, help with the, the simulator. We we can they're gonna display all the um, information or all the uh, animation we we recorded uh, from this from from it. <clears throat> okay, and um, here I'm gonna track back to this. Uh, I'm gonna run run with this. Try to make uh, uh, this uh, moments move. I just click this uh, start. Okay, totally. It's almost like four four seconds. They're gonna finish all the, all this kind of uh, four curses moments. Okay, let me just, let me just run again. Okay, you're gonna see from the simulator this uh, uh, moves like uh, from the, the the first seconds with those values change and also. Oh, sorry. Gonna open it again. Uh, some problem with my curl graph. Okay, that's that's a example I created before. But back to the project, so we know that they have default timeline. When we click on it, we try to know that uh, uh, that's the creation we 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 we, we created. <clears throat> and. Uh, Basically, it is divided into the motion layer and another another we call is the behavior layer. For the for the motion layer, we just record the four curses, uh, five, six, uh, or totally six curses. But uh, for each one, we have we, we just back to this uh, timeline properties. We can see they are they still have the frame rates so like twenty five in one seconds, and uh, but. This is try to insert different values from this from this rulers from start zero at zero seconds. They put it, the values like uh, elbow row to uh, zero point five and another. So more than one seconds and the 30 on the on the 30 frame. They just try to enter into into the different values. This is the, just the values through. Through this inspector to just it. OK, here when we click on this the cursor, they know that they just are trying to move the right value from it. And for the next 60. OK, they just lift another arms, another. 90s. This is turn the wrist and another one will cut. OK, lift another arm and. It, and back to the normal position. OK, here we're going to try to run it. See the all the whole pictures of uh, uh, the, the animation we created. Okay. And that's basically a basic timeline we used on, on when we try to make pepper move uh, like uh, what we did. Uh, sometimes it's very important uh, it's important in projects. So we want to show the, uh, the the 25 degrees freedom of pepper. We can to make entertainment of people. That's an uh, important timeline we use. OK, uh, back to the. I'm, I'm. From this part, I'm going to run this project. We can see the simulator from here. Oh. They just run as we want. But on the real robots, I'm just showing you the show the videos there no okay how about you just a see see on the real robots okay we'll run this program 
you can see the real pepper moves the animations move animations we did before it's very uh, it's it's the same from the simulator okay i'm on chat back to jeffrey okay thank you austin uh and um I think it's nice to see the video because like uh can exactly see uh, how it, it, it uh behave in real pepper but uh we also realized that uh it is very similar effect that you can observe in choreograph as well right so let me put up the display first okay Okay, so with this uh, concept, I hope you understand this concept. So even without um, Pepper with you, okay, any of you, even without Pepper with you, you can actually design this whole thing with just the virtual robot. So you can actually see the whole movement, uh, everything very nicely uh, that represented by the virtual robot. And uh, just now Austin also show the video that you can see the same uh, action uh, is uh, can be duplicated uh, on the on the real robot as well. Okay, so um, I think this part of development, yeah, totally can be done uh, solely on just uh, the choreograph. Okay, but um, sometimes when we want to design uh, quite complicated uh, posture, for example, like uh, especially um, when you design, for example, a dance move, for example, then you need a very how to say nice uh, posture. But it sometimes it's not easy to 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 how to say adjust all the joint one by one in order to get the uh, the posture that you want, right? So uh, is there any other way that 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 can be more intuitive, right? So when you look back, that uh, for example, like for for human, when we want to teach someone certain posture or certain action, okay, for example, in a yoga class or in any any dancing class or anything. So um, as I said, um, I also experienced before, like the instructor will actually come to you and try to move your body, right, directly. And that is uh, actually, I think is the most direct and intuitive way for, for someone to learn some certain posture uh, in, in a very efficient way, okay? So, so um, for Pepper, we actually have uh, another mode of um, programming uh, that we can capture this uh, posture directly from the real robot itself. Okay, so how, how to do it? So let me explain this. Okay, so we actually have uh, several modes for Pepper, and one of the modes that we are going to uh, use it now is what we call the animation mode. So um, you can go to uh, so inside your choreograph, so if you go to the top uh, right hand side, you can see there are a few icons and one of the icon is what we call the animation mode. Okay, so you can activate from there or you can activate from other places as well. The robot application windows can be called uh, from the view as well. Okay, so um, so once you turn on the animation mode and you look at the the, the windows, right? So that is the time that um, it will turn to the animation mode. I mean, you can observe that the real pepper actually switch mode from the normal one to the animation mode. Okay, right. So um, when you switch to the animation mode, the robot actually have some changes to tell you uh, how. For example, like the first thing is the icon will turn from green to red. Right, so when turn to from green to red, then that is the animation mode. And then the eye of the robot will turn orange. Okay, after the animation mode. Okay, so which means that the, you can see these changes, which it tell you um, at Pepper is entering another a different mode. So this special animation mode is where we can actually move the robot directly. Okay, move the robot directly, which means we can actually change uh, the, for example, head position, uh, arm position, and so on. We can actually uh, change the angle and so on. But 
please make sure that you follow the step closely so that to avoid any uh, unwanted injury to the uh, to the to the motors or to the joint. OK, right. So first is like you need to make it into this animation mode. Then there, there is a, what we call the teaching mode. OK, so yeah, so teaching mode. Uh, so in the animation mode, you can you can switch to a teaching mode uh, by doing this step. OK, by doing this step. So for example, for the hand, if you touch the. The back. Of the pump. OK, so if you touch the back of the pump, then. It is actually how loosen the control on the joint. And you can realize that you can actually move the arm, All right? But this one, uh, you need to be very careful because like you need to make sure the sensor is triggered. Then only you can move the joint because like if you forcefully do the, uh, how to say, if you force the joint to move when the joint is uh, is engaging, which means uh, when you turn on the robot, uh, Pepper actually use some energy to hold or to maintain certain posture. And uh, which means the joint actually the motor is um, activated. So um, if during that mode, if you forcefully turn the joint, then you will actually uh, causing some damage or, or give a burden to the to the joint, right? So that is something that we try to avoid. Okay. So in order to to move the arm or, or to move the joint according to what you want, you have to use this what we call the teaching mode, which is for the arm, uh, for the yeah, for the arm, you can you can trigger the sensor by touching the back of the pump. Okay, then uh, the indicator is you can see the right. For example, like you touch the, the left side or right side, then part of the arm, the eyes will turn from orange to green. Right. So that is the the indicator that the currently pepper actually loosen the. Uh, the joints so that you can move according to the the ideal posture that you want. Okay, so this is how you you teach by uh, you teach directly uh, changing uh, the joint angle from the body itself. Okay, and of course the same the same way you can do it for the left hand and right hand, and then another one is uh, to to change the the head position or to change the head posture, which is including like the neck, is uh, you need to put the hand on the head of the robot. Okay, there is a sensor on the head, so if you put on the head, uh, then just by tapping one, then you can move the the head. So the head will become the the neck will become uh, the motor at the neck will become loosened. Then you can move, and then you tap one more time, then it will activate back. Okay. So this one also you can see the LED color actually change. And then after you touch on, uh, I mean like you want to exit this teaching mode, you just uh, put your put your hand on the head again, then it will exit this. And you can see the color of the LED turn, uh, return back to the white color. Okay, so this is the, the, the detail of uh, the teaching mode that you can uh, modify the join or the posture of the robot directly on the robot itself. OK, that, so how to use this together with the timeline is you can um, just now you learn how to specify certain keyframe, right? So for the keyframe, you you can select the keyframe and then you you record the posture that you want. So you can like you can in the example, you can see like on the first black dot. So the pepper, you move it in that way, uh, leaving up the left hand, uh, right hand, sorry. Then on the second one in the middle, uh, Pepper lift up the another 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 arm, and then the initial one will put down. Then the last one, the third one, you make both hand downwards, right? Okay, so you put this three, and then you set you you move the arm, and then you set into this um, arrangement. Then after that, when you play, then you can see. Uh, the program or the software automatically try to calculate the trajectory so that the robot will move gradually uh, from uh, the initial position to the first position as to, to the first posture 
and then to the second posture and third posture, right? So it will it, it will translate it will translate the movement directly for you. Okay, so um, you you add everything together, uh, then you run it the example code, then you will see the effect like the pepper at first is ten straight, then it say I'm moving, then it turn the right elbow joint to make the elbow uh, come up. Then after that, it will move the left and then it will put down both uh, hand and look around the right hand. It will look around, okay, right. Then after that, it will stand up again. Okay, so this is this is the example and um, that you can expect from, uh, this is the effect that you can expect from the example. But now um, let's go back to Austin. Uh, to show you exactly how to do this in in choreograph. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you, Jeffrey. And uh, like we talked before, we really have two two different two different ways we can make a pepper pepper move. So, like uh, what I show you before, I do all 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 those operations from the timeline. But in the timeline, we want to have the timeline to uh, show the how to program on the real pep on the real paper, even on the simulator. So, well, why we just give you another options to do the time to do the animation because we you know, some 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 students or teachers only have you know, they don't have paper, and other other students or teachers have the real paper, but they they can have different options on the on the paper show the show the different how easy or uh, when we operate the animation in the simulator and even on the on the real paper okay this is the give the feeling about it and in my understanding uh, this uh, after uh, i'm going to introduce another important part so we call the animation mode where is the animation mode it's from here you can see this button from this button here, but currently I don't have the real the robots. When you when you just uh, use the choreograph to connect the real robots, and just those buttons gonna gonna be gonna be turn turn on, and even from the volumes and battery volumes, and also from the uh, animation mode, even the even the volume and the battery levels, they kind of show show it up. In the appearance, this is gonna work. But here today, I really don't have pepper around me. But I can show you the video how we do it by this uh, animation mode. Okay. Before we jump, in, we're jumping into the uh, another video of how we uh, how we do the animation mode on the real pepper. I just give you comparison or uh, comparison or summaries why we just uh, use different ways to do it. Okay, let's let's what we talked before. <clears throat> we will have the timeline and I even have the keyframe or cursors from me here to re record all the values. But it, even we don't have real pepper, we can just uh, click any parts of the frame trying to make uh, uh, adjusted values for peppers every parts. And here we know that pepper have 25 deg degrees freedom. We can change the head. We can see here they ha they have they they have uh, um, two uh, degrees freedom a uh, pep uh, on the uh, a pepper and on the arms they have totally uh, six and two arms we call it uh, twelve and it's still for the uh, wrist from the elbow from from the hip parts and a knee they have a difference. They, they have a different freedom. So those freedom are just uh, support. Uh, all the freedom or or the uh, the other freedom of degrees uh, degrees of freedom. We can adjust it uh, through the inspector here. It's a very it, it's a very easy way easy way to adjust it from the lower lower value and to this kind of a uh, uh, high high values like that. Okay. The, the, this is give you the minimum value and the maximum in case you, you just uh, uh, make the pepper broken. <clears throat> okay, uh, another way we we we're gonna teach you is about the animation mode. But before that, I like it. Uh, I just want to let you know, um, like the 
like the way of Jeffrey said, because you can't you kind of force Pepper to do uh, to do some um, difficult difficult animation. I mean the movements to make a Pepper broken sometimes. Each each of the degrees of freedom, like the arm, you can you can action you can do all the, all the operations from the from the real pepper you can use uh, you can use your hand to adjust it all the uh, other position position or degrees of this uh, joints and uh, just uh, be careful about that <clears throat> okay here uh and uh, I, I'm gonna uh, gain uh, I'm gonna give you this uh, uh, um, with the comparison way and uh, it, what if I just wanted to add some uh, another values from like from the 40 when we use the admission I like normal way we can adjust the value from here but we don't we, we just use this uh, the real robots to adjust the uh, the the the, uh, the values okay but remember like the step steps teach the, the taught, taught by uh, Jeffrey we need we just follow the step. The first step we need to pick up a keyframe, like a uh, seventy, and oh, here we can adjust on the real robots. And you, when you want, to, once once the position or the free or the mm, the the degrees of freedom uh, as you want, you just press the F A. In my computer, is gonna. The, every picture ha, have the FN, FN8 or F8. OK, let me try it. All right. OK, this way. Oh, no, this way. OK, F8. OK, I'm just trying to uh, give the uh, key keyframe and uh, adjust the uh, real robots and uh, press F8, they're gonna re record the value. But here, this is only have the default value I created. Mm, okay, let me show the videos how we do it. Okay, in this in this video, we're gonna show you, but I uh, show you how to cre create you this uh, uh, animation mode, okay? From here, we can see that uh, uh, we just uh, pick a, a keyframe from the 25. Yeah, this uh, keep like this way, and um, uh, then we just add, uh, press these buttons like any mission mode. The real pepper gonna enter into it. The status gonna be animation mode. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. Pepper is the uh, once the pepper go uh, enter into the animation mode, you can see the eyes. They just uh, show the different colors. Before that, we know the the, the pepper uh, only have the white uh, white color around the eye. But here, when, when into this animation mode, they just change the colors like orange and orange color. Okay, uh, if you see this, if this work. We, if you see these lights work uh, um, showing the orange color, which means the peppers work. It just under the NF mode. You just uh, you can adjust it, adjust the uh, all the freedom from pepper. Okay, let's see see the video. Okay, we just uh, put uh, a keyframe on the twenty five, and I'm um, gonna adjust the adjust the, um, the the degrees degrees of degrees of pepper head. OK. Wait for a second. We got uh, to adjust the pepper's hands. But first of all, you need to touch the back of the palm. In pepper, OK, when you touch it, the pepper's eye is going to be turned. It's kind of a half a half. Uh, on the uh, on the buff, we can see they, they still have the orange color, and below that, the the, the most parts is like turn into the uh, green color, which means you can you just activate activate the the, the motors of pepper, trying to they just give give you permission 
to move the arm. Okay, here I'm gonna lift, lift the arm. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to make it like this way. Okay. Then we just uh, touch the uh, back of the palm again to make the eyes turn into green, which is a lockdown the motor. They can stand on okay. this way. Okay. Another, another, when we try to make another arms, it's exactly the same way. We can, we need, we need to touch the back of the back of palm uh, in pepper. Should I adjust it to the uh, specific, uh, specific position as we want? Okay, then then touch the, the hands again, just to keep the peppers uh, to do like this way. At this time, we need to go back to our computer and press the F8 button, and they're going to record this those, the current value of the. Okay, you should do your thing, okay? I'm really busy, okay? Don't do that, I'm doing my thing. Sorry, okay. Okay, here we know everything is recorded like the like this way. Okay, we just keep going. We just remember one key frame. Here, when we touch the back of the back of the palm, which means we can adjust it, then make it make it to the orange positions. But if the head is still is still the same way, we need to touch. Okay, here. Okay, all right. Back here. We need to touch. They, they have sensors on on the pepper's head. We need to touch the touch the pep, touch the head of pepper and to active active the, the, the motor and just uh, give me permission to move 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 the pepper's head. Okay, when we touch it, they have to show different colors. It's upside uh, to the arms. On the above on, on the above the eyes, we can see the uh, green color. And below that is, is, is still the orange color, which means uh, 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 that uh, at this time we know that the green color indicate indicated this uh, uh, which parts of a, a pepper can be can be moved and give uh, the permission got to be uh, author authorized Okay. Okay. They want to turn the green. Uh, they can. Move the hat. Okay, moves like this way, and you can adjust it by yourself as you want. Yeah, this is I uh, shows the different colors and indicate uh, it indicated that you have for permission to move move the hat. Okay, here you just be careful. We sometimes the, the sensor uh, is, is not that sensitive. You can you must uh, to keep touch on the pepper's head and it keeps keep still on it. Try to activate. At this time, in this position, I want to I, I want the pepper's head to act like this way, and back and back to our computer to add, press the F8 to to record it. Here, I just. Uh, I just record the sum of values from here using by using this animation mode. Okay, you can check out those out out this um out this K frame and uh, they're gonna show it on the in in the simulator. All right. Okay. How about we're gonna try to uh, see the results? Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
if we do that like this way, we can see that. OK. The paper just uh, uh, acts the animations. Uh, as the as I'll do the animation and in the animation mode. OK. So that's pretty much about uh, uh, this uh, functions uh, functions animation. Um, for 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 me, I just give uh, give you guys a recommendation. If you if you have a real pepper, uh, you can try to you use to uh, the animation mode to adjust the other all the positions very convenient. And uh, even for students uh, in elementary school, they, they they can handle this, but. If you're this kind of professional or even you don't have the real paper, I uh, better just uh, try use this, use this uh, value. You can adjust the value as as you want. It's a very it's a very specific and the accurate accurate, and which means you, you, if you do some uh, serious dancing or serious movements or make to make people entertainment, uh, I just recommend you use this uh, values because they are so accurate. OK, uh, that's pretty much about the animation mode and uh, just I just can comparison with the, the timeline. We uh, when we use the inspectors. Okay. I'm going to try it back to Jeffrey. Just can you cross? Thank you very right. much. <clears throat> OK, thanks, Austin. Right, so let me put back. To my screen. OK. So um, just now we, we learned quite a lot um, on, on the timeline and also the animation mode to adjust directly from the real pepper robot. So as, as Austin said, like um, the timeline or, or you if you do uh, serious uh, action um, arrangement, it is much more accurate in, in choreograph because like you can uh, pinpoint uh to each of the joint what is the joint angle and so on which is true because like uh especially when you want to do a dance move uh which is everything is it can be pre-programmed so which means you you don't have anything that you need to and in fact it is very important uh to have uniform uh movement in in dancing because like you want everything to look perfect nice and, and synchronized so uh it would be nice uh, especially uh, because I saw some uh, pepper per, uh, pepper performance that we that they have a group of pepper actually doing uh, a synchronized dance. So in order to do that, uh, it is very important to have all the pepper synchronized to each other, and that is the time that maybe you want to have uh, accurate movement and so on. So that you maybe need to go down to each of the joint uh, angle in order to have everything look perfectly uh, synchronized. But um, it is also, um, how to say, one of the strategy is you can combine both to, uh, both both way together. Because like you can use um, the, the animation mode to actually give the, the outline. For example, like roughly when Pepper is supposed to move in this way and so on. Then after that, you can head back to your choreograph and precise, uh, do minor fine tuning. Uh, on the on the joint angle and so on. So uh, be creative and and these are the tools that can help you to really produce very very nice uh, performance in terms of body motion. Okay, right. So those are those are the details for you uh, if you want to um, design a nice body motion for some um, performance pepper performance. Okay, uh, then. Um, the next thing that we are going to discuss uh, in today's class is this preset animation. So th what is this preset animation? It's like short uh, movement, but uh, the movement is uh, nicely designed okay, by the developer. Okay, nicely designed in, in, in the way that it is a very, how to say, it's, it's not very complicated, but it is uh, very, how to say, nicely craft. Okay, nicely craft because like, when you look at the, the, the preset animation, it actually gives very nice um, 
very nice impression about certain motion. For example, I I, I remember one is like it, it show you how like we make the movement of the elephant and it's very short. It's like a few seconds, but uh, that movement give us a very clear um, impression about the, the, the movement. OK, so this kind of very short um, animation uh, will be very useful, especially when you want to design in your dialogue, for example. Okay, because like when you when when you want to design Pepper for dialogue system, it is very nice if you can add in a very how to say expressive action and so on because that is um, the strong point of Pepper being very humanoid like, and it can give very strong um, human like uh, expression uh, from the body, from the body gesture actually. So this body gesture. Uh, a lot of times you can actually use this preset animation uh, for the development. So later on, um, um, we will let um, Austin to explain what are those uh, animation and um, how you can use that. It's actually a, a, a big uh, library, so you can actually have a lot preset animation. Uh, there's also a way to, to look at it, right? So let, let's look at the detail uh, from here. So in order to use this preset animation, first um, I need to show you where is the, the box. Okay, so if you head down to your box library, so got one category is uh, this animation uh, instruction box library. Okay, so you can see like animation under animation, you've got like various category. So this actually have a large collection of preset animation that you can choose and then Inside there, they also categorize at, for example, like mode related, uh, which is related to some um, emotion. So this one will be very, very uh, matching if you designing a dialogue that uh, you want to involve more uh, emotion related action. For example, like you want to express happiness, you want to express sadness, angry and so on. So this preset animation will help you a lot Okay, to make Pepper more expressive. And also got entertainment like, uh, and, and also the dialogue animation is also part of the preset animation and so on. So uh, you can you can browse through uh, that library to see what are those things, and you might find something very interesting that can add into your uh, speech development. So I actually look forward for 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 anyone that create application using the speech and also the image uh, the vision plus you add this um, preset animation to enhance the expression for your dialogue. Okay. Right. So if you open up the, 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 the folder right in the in the library, you can see there are actually many and, and over here you can see like we have some um, action for now and pepper because choreograph is designed for the now chi OS. So and now chi OS is actually running on now and also pepper. So you can find uh, some library are actually for the now robots. So uh, over here, we need to select the one that is under the pepper robot, okay? Because the anatomy is different, so uh, you can't really use the now uh, robot motion for pepper, okay? So make sure you select the correct one, okay? Right, so over here. Then, um, okay, as just now I said, because like you can see the library is relatively big. So, um, and the description is actually not very, <laughs> not very easy to imagine sometimes because, like for example, you look at one example: both arms bumps in front, then both arm bumps lean right, <laughs> zero one. From the name itself, it's actually not easy for you to imagine how the preset animation look like, and it is very how to say. Uh, troublesome if every time you want to you want to like look at the the preset animation you have to like drag to the drawing box and then run it on the virtual robot or run it on the real robot to see how is it look like and that will be very time consuming so one way to let you glance through or preview the particular animation is using this the inspector uh, i think down there yes you have this inspector which is you can use this inspector below the windows of the virtual robot to let you preview the uh, preset animation. Okay, so over there you can preview and it is very nice animation there. Okay, so this one is like a GIF animation that you can see how uh, the movement uh, from the inspector. Okay, 
Right. So um, once you are familiar with all this thing, then it is the time that we can look at the example. Then the example is pretty much straightforward. So when you open up the example from our repository, you can find out like uh, they, they actually went, not to say random, but they choose uh, some of the preset animation and then they link them together. So for example, like over here, we have happy then elephant. Yeah, as I mentioned just now the elephant thing. So later we'll see how the elephant Reset animation look like. Then we have the disco and fear. So not 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 only like um something very uh some action. Not not only action. For example, like we know disco is a very very expressive action, and then elephant is the action of the elephant. But happy and fear is actually emotion. Okay, it's actually emotion. So when I ask you like what is the action for happy, it's actually not easy to and and everyone may have different answer. So over here, the developer uh, try to develop some action that represent the happiness, right? So you you may you may that that is actually quite handy because like uh, we can just try on it. For example, like you can uh, couple this with uh, some uh, uh, conversation that express happiness. For example, like uh, you give a compliment, then uh, Pepper receives the compliment and give the expression. So. This is a very, uh, how to say, human-like uh, interaction. Okay, so you can you can do this. So you can see later on how this happy and fear look like. And uh, from what I can remember, it is not only the action, but it is also uh, the expression, for example, the face expression. We know Pepper actually cannot move the face muscle. It don't have the face muscle. And then even the mouth is, is, is is static is not movable okay you don't have eyebrow or anything so it cannot give facial expression like human but it can still express uh some facial expression okay although it's very funny that i use the word facial expression but it can actually have some changes on the face to show you some emotion later you will see okay and and the trick how they, they do it in pepper is like they change the led color of the eye and also the ear. So later on, if you open up, um, I, I think Austin will open up the, the box and show you. So in the field, for example, like it actually change, uh, change the, the LED light and, and also together with the movement. So overall, it gives you the impression that it it is something like a fear expression. Okay, so that is the overall. So um, that's why I said Pepper actually very, how to say, it's a very expressive robot that it have these features that can give us very human like expression. Although some, uh, how to say, there, there is a, an, um, how to say, the, the body design uh, compared to the robot and also human is definitely, yeah, there, there are many different. For example, the head uh, is, is very, very different. Like it don't have the facial expression and so on, but it can still, uh, achieve some degree of um, emotional expression with uh, the help of, for example, the light of the LED, the, the, the movement, uh, and, and so on. So what we can do is we try to use these features that's available, for example, like this uh, preset animation, to make our Pepper development more likely. Right, so this is what I, I hope you can try on. So later on, please look at the detail on how Pepper actually try to express happiness and try to express fear, for example. Okay, right, so um, in order to run this, of course, you need to connect it um, like, like usual, then you run it. So um, the actual effect of the example that you can download from our GitHub is the paper will show the happy motion. Okay, so later you'll see what is the happy motion, uh, imitating the elephant motion, right? I, I think you can imagine like, for example, like I asked you to 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 to, to, to make an action of an elephant. I'm sure you know what the action is supposed to be. Then a disco dance movement uh, motion and also a scat motion uh, motion that that express uh, the feeling of fear. Okay, right. So um, I'll pass uh, the detail uh, explanation on the operation to to Austin. So please look carefully on the the details that I mentioned just now. Okay, right, Austin. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Thank you very much, Trevor. 
And uh, first of all, I uh, really like you guys. If uh, if you, uh, we're sorry for uh, we don't have really real pepper around us. And uh, if we you got interest in it, you must uh, run all this uh, run all this demos in this class because it's very interesting. And uh, that's what's what what's actually pepper can do because it's really it's a humanoid robots and they can they, they just uh, show the very difficult of. Uh, of 25 degrees of freedom and just uh let guys know if you if you even you don't have this a real pepper just 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 run those uh, free run those uh demos demos or uh, projects uh, used by using this simulator all right okay uh so back to this topic we just uh i just want to show you the present the animation we have but basically i just opened this uh, project from here uh don't save and uh, this is these in this in under this uh, uh animation uh folder so we still can we just see the timeline and here we, we just uh, introduce the present uh, animation tutorial Okay, here is all this uh, uh, instruction box and just to uh, connect each other to make some moments like. So before that, I'm, I'm just run this project. Let's see. From this. The simulator this is uh, doing the elephant. And trying to run a disco. And the last one we got a fear. Okay, the last one is a fear. Okay, all done. Oh, all right. So, so the whole project is very simple and very easy. Just uh, trying to connect, connect, connect all the instruction boxes in, in parallel, in parallel, and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, you can connect all, even more um, the all these animations to make Pepper move a long time. Okay. But I, I want to introduce more about the animation. I mean, I mean animation parts because the, all the action, all the actions from this uh, from this uh, this folder and it. I just like uh, what I described before. We have the four different folders. One of the creation. In the creation, we really have the basic timeline. This is uh, like uh, we can create to cut cut customize customize ourselves uh, the, uh, the ourselves in uh, animation with this uh, instruction box but before that we still have the four uh for a different uh, uh, box but it's very specific for you combine combine use useful with the timeline because because just uh, i just give it one example that's it's when we drag the go to just uh, and it can just check about the different description we they just tell tell us to jump into frame name set in the parameter in, in the parameter you can just uh, give the frame name and they just go to the frame and to try to uh do the to do the animations it's a it's a very specific uh, con connection with the timeline so that's why those five just uh, com com combine together <clears throat> okay before that, uh, after after that, we still have the other parts is like uh, three uh, different categories. The first one we call this dialogue animation. Um, apparently, we know that uh, when we do the animation, you can do the, the dialogue uh, with the, with Pepper. Okay, it's very uh, it's a uh, lot of folders around here. Maybe if from 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 the medium's name, we can know that it's doing some space and time we can check about it they have a different category and for now and pepper and this is a, I'm just a trying to drag one of that just to tell me that uh, the they just you this box can do with the from um, apparently from its name we know that it can do the both arm bumping in front okay we tried to um, click on it. We see how's going, but it didn't have kind of a pre preview for us. Uh, you can try. You can try it by yourself. Okay. So what was this up? What's, what is this box mm, made of? You can check about it. Well, let's go back to this uh, uh, timeline. And we try to uh, 
try to drag this timeline. We just compare the name. This is a change in the name, but they have the same icon and same input and outputs. So I guess it's the same one. And uh, when we click on it, it's very simple. It's very simple. They don't even have the behavior layer. They only have the motion layer. And they try to make it uh, make 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 the value uh, recorded by by the inspector. I, but if you if you if you don't if some sometimes if what must you first time. Uh, first time to meet with the, the animation uh, by custom, cu customize the uh, timeline. We need to do just uh, learn from those basic basic animation. Okay, you can learn from the both arms bumping. How's how how they just uh, applying this uh, these functions? You can learn from this uh, from this video and how just how they just uh, keep this. Uh, uh, this those cur cur curves to make it pepper move like uh, both arm bumping from. OK, that's both arm bumping from and just another another uh, folders. We have the positive even include pepper. This is happy. Is it we're going to introduce this uh, this uh, in this project. The same one is to tell you uh, how is the happy animation doing. It is uh, th in this box. This tell this give the preview. It's uh, acting like this. Oh, okay. You don't even run the pro run this instruction box. You can you can see the preview from here. <clears throat> okay. Another one we have the entertainment, and they can act like an animal. We have we in, the, in our projects we just pick one that it's uh, act like elephant, and it also can give a dance. Okay. Um, in the real, in the reality, uh, in the reality, some people, some students in uh, doing some the real business uh, application, they almost, they almost they just say embedded the entertainment parts, which means that you you want the pepper do some dancing and uh, to make people more entertainment and to make people laugh and like like this. So that's the. That's all. That's like almost application. Always, uh, always embedded this, 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 those kind of things. Here, uh, in in our pro in our projects, we also covered the disco disco parts. But I wanted to uh, try to different one Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan. And then when we click on it, it's more complicated. Uh, it's more complicated. You should try it. And also copy it from uh, from this uh, company complicated projects. You can learn from from it. So uh, the, uh, on the first site, we can see that they have the motion and it records some values, but it, it just, they just pick a different key keyframe, uh, but still keep all. Oh, this is changes the free rate the free rate to five to make a piper more quick to move. This is very important. Because this depends uh, depends on the music. If the music is so light and happiness, you can just uh, try to uh, decrease the frame rate and uh, to make this uh, a keyframe or cursor curves to more um, sensitive. <clears throat> okay, before beside beside all the motion layer, we still have the behavior layer. In this part, we have three layer, one layer for that. In the keyframe, this just shows the light, and just remember that. Remember that this give uh, this light uh, concentrate eye. You set animate gaze, uh, animated gaze, which express concentrate. Okay, and which means this only control the lights, control the lights of eye to make more concentrate. And still, the second layer. We know that they just they just put act behaviors like a play music, but uh, we're gonna cover this introduction next class. And uh, in this class, you do, what do you know? Just know uh, this box is just play some songs or play some music, like we play some MP4, about MP, MP3. Yeah, it's, it's like this way. 
And uh, the final uh, behavior layers don't even give it a name, but we can check about it. It's just a uh, move, move along. OK, and still we're going to cover this uh, instruction box on next course, but in this course, just just like we just uh, they know that so the move along means we make a pepper move with the wheels wheel and under 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 the pepper. OK, just uh, trying to specific specific to move specific path and it's more vivid with pepper. So that's pretty much the base, the, the comp complicated one uh, and animation we, we made. You would need when if you, you want to start a st start start to learn this uh, animation from scratch, you just uh, learn from the Tai Chi Tai Chi train and uh, and the animation part. OK. And still this uh, that that's the dance. I also have some funs and the music and the sports. It's uh, it's all very interesting. Even you can imply imp imply all the functions into your business business logic. It's very important. Okay, back our projects. We we know that uh, back our projects, and we we just pick four four of that from the each one. Even from the entertainment modes and the dialogue animation like like this, and, and we can we can learn we can we can use is more more than more than this in 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 your your business applications. Okay, here let me check out one of that happy which is do the happiness, and this is act like a. Mm, uh, the, the motion layer and we're going to see the uh, frame, frame rates is 25. OK, this, that's normal and uh, you can you can study how they just put this a key, key frame to make a pepper happy. You can run it to see what happened. OK, it's very quick. Only it's like a 25 and it's more. It's a little more than 10, just two seconds to finish out this part to fi finish the dance. I'm going to review that again. One, two, OK, almost like that. And another one was we called the elephant elephant. OK, uh, first of all, we can check, check, check the frame rate and it's acting like this, but it's very long. It's long, long rulers for it. And also it's a lot of key work is separated in different to different position. And another one, the key frame we caught it, we caught it to have the place on. Which means not normally do the elephant parts and do, do, do the, anim the elephant animation to still can make some elephant songs. And another one was called a disco, and they just they don't have the even behaviors, they only have the you know, the uh, dance ed editor. Uh, uh, all the curves in here, just uh, uh, check about it. And another another one was called a, called fear. Okay, all right. That's a basic, uh, basic, and the lines on this uh, uh, whole project. I'm gonna try to show you how the real pepper run with that. Okay. Okay. This is this is uh, the our the whole project. OK, I'm just give a quick uh, review. I'm going to run all this, uh, uh, all this uh, run all this instruction box uh, in the real pepper. You can see that. OK, that that's the happy parts. And another we cut the elephant. OK, that's the disco. Oh. Final. For the elephant, elephant parts, it even have sound, right? I, I didn't play, put it out. Check, check it out. OK, here we can, we can, we can hear the sounds. 
呃，好，我现我现在运行一下。看一下，在他的眼部的灯光一直在有闪的，特别是在一个表现 happy 动作的时候呢，我们在设计了有灯光，所以他的灯光的话就是可以看到有一个变化。这个是正在表现 disco 的动作，嗯。OK， 你们 do the eye LED um showing because they have different color to to show it. With the fear. All right, all right. That's what that's what is the running on the real robots with pepper. But just to keep rem remember that, uh, I just showed the it's a few uh, animations uh, from this project. We need to. Do The first of all, you need you, you should you should study study out the timeline, how to kind of customize uh, your own and uh, animation, and you can you can use the simulator. And also, if you have the real robot, you just use the use the robots do the animation mode. And then finally, if you you can you can you can compile or just create a dance or some moments, you can take those. To take those instruction box as a reference to see what is what's going on and how they just uh, do it. Another important and uh, finally, I just uh, give you more uh, knowledge in advance. But for the elephant parts, you can uh, I you can go to this timeline editor. Okay, they're gonna show you the actually act act um, actuator is running. You can see the heads and arms. Arms value because here you only see the more specific parts of uh, of of the value and separate separated in the different key in different key frame. But if if you got wrong or this is run run out to some uh, run out some the wrong positions, they're gonna have the red. Red show you this is not good for goodness is not good for you. You can you, you must adjust it in as to can can show the exactly moments you have. Okay, and it's more professional from this panels, but uh, a, a, if you want to have a very great dancer um, animations or want to um, do some very serious solution. When uh, you you must need this uh, tools to analyze all the moment motions you have. Okay, that's the uh, just tool I recommended you, you use when you have some serious uh, project. All right, that's uh, pretty pretty much all this project. Um, and also thank you very thank you very much. I'm gonna go back to Jeffrey. Okay, so thanks, uh, Martin. So let's me switch back to my screen. All right, so you can see just now, like um, there are actually many details, uh, and and Austin already like explained uh, very detail on, on this preset animation. It open up, so uh, you you can actually learn a lot by opening up the the preset animation box because like you can see how the the developer actually developed the timeline, then it tried to couple with a very nice hit behavior to come up with uh, some. Very expressive uh, animation. For example, like how to do the happy, and and I particularly like the the, the way how the the fear uh, animation is uh, created because like you can see um, by changing just the movement of the head, the LED, and also the body motion, you can see it it really creates uh, an emotion that that Pepper actually express uh, the feeling of um, uncertainty. All right, you can really see if you if you look back at uh, the video just now that, that Austin just showed the fear and the happy and, and the rest actually have different feeling. So that different is the, the, the emotion that uh, 
this uh, preset animation can express. And if we can fully utilize this um, uh, emotion expression into our robot development, I, I'm very sure that we can create something that is uh, very different compared to other robot development because like the emotion that you add in, the lively expression that you add in, that you can be presented with this Pepper platform is something that um, I think it will really make our robot uh, application very uh, attractive okay, for our application. Right, so with that, um, we have a uh, finished cover for today's class, um, both uh, to show you like several ways to actually design and also the, to develop the, the robot body motion. Okay, so um, here as an exercise as usual, so we will put up some assignment. Uh, for you to practice. So you can write a program so that Pepper Robot detects someone in front of you. Okay, so this is uh, always the exercise is um, something more than what the class uh, have shown you because like in the class, we already show you and, and, you, and provide you with the example. So you can actually get the example code and we have all the solution for, for, the, for the class. But what the assignment here will hope you to do is based on the, uh, the example that's given, based on the, the assignments that are provided uh, for you to start working on. So um, the next thing is how you can actually combine the exercise or the, the, ex the example to create something, um, a, a better application. So over here, you can see like write a program um, so that when the paper robot detects someone in front, so detect someone in front, this is something that uh, we have learned last week. Like uh, if you still remember our face detection uh, or, or the face recognition, for example, the learn face and so on. So you can you can use that. But over here is detect someone. So uh, you can use the face detection. So when you, you you can straight away use the example last week to detect someone. So the output will be like how many person. If let's say it is not zero, then that means Pepper detect someone. Okay, so you can straight away use that part. And then it will make a gesture of reaching out and greet the person. Okay, so you need to add a gesture to reaching out. Reaching out means to approach the person and give your greeting. Okay, so to, to make a gesture of reaching out. So this is what uh, you can try to find from the preset animation, or you can try to design this gesture by using the timeline, or if you have the pepper robot, you can use also the animation mode to do this, to design this gesture. Right, and then to greet the person, you can use the simplest way is um, verbal way. So you can greet the person by saying, uh, how are you, or, or uh, good morning, and, and so on, right? So you can add all this. So over here, just this assignment will cover uh, the, the, visual, visual, uh, the, the visual part, visual perception, which is like you, you do the vision system, so the example, and then with the example today, the gesture, uh, maybe you can find some uh, matching preset animation that you can like drag a box and you can you can do the gesture. Then you can also um, uh, add in the speech part, which is a greet the person, right? Then now that you got a requirement one, the program is running, the robot can always say hello to people, which means you 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 need to think of how to make this a look. So which means like when you detect someone, then it will do this thing and say hello, then it continue. You might need to put a delay so that, oh, so that it won't greet the same person too frequent, right? Then you put a delay, then after that you, you look again, and then if it find another person, then you then you then you greet again, right? So this is the first requirement. And then the second requirement is when touch the head of Pepper, the program exit. So you need to put in uh to to monitor uh, an event okay so this is this is maybe an event uh of the sensor trigger so you can find this event how to get this event and when this event happen you can make the program on stop and then go to the exit so it will it will stop the whole thing so basically i verbally tell you the answer of how to do this but you need to put all those uh, components together and you need to know how to put them together assemble together so that is your exercise and over here for this assignment, you can actually enhance further. For example, like the way how you greet the person. For example, you have good morning, good afternoon, good good night, and so on. You can change this by checking the time. Okay, so that's one thing. 
Another one is uh, when you want to grade, you can say something that is relevant to the person that you detected. For example, you can detect the person. Uh, for example, you can guess the age. You can guess the gender. You can guess the whatever. You can even guess like how many person. So that element can actually change your greeting as well. So if you can design your greeting based on uh, the actual uh, people or more than one uh, guess that Pepper detected and based on that particular person, the condition, you give an appropriate um, or a different greetings, then that will add point for your for your application, right? For your design and so on, right? So those are the, the suggestions that you can you can exercise and if you can do this, you can put all those things together. Uh, I'm, I'm very sure that you are ready to develop the pepper application for the competition, right? So if you if you if you want to know how to prepare for the competition, basically if the assignment is uh, your, your starting point, okay, to do uh, the preparation and whatever that I just said just now, uh, other than vision, I think most of the part you can actually use the just the choreograph to, to achieve. OK, so yeah, so don't worry if you don't have the robot, you still can do a lot of development. OK, so with that, I have come to the end of uh, the. Class today. Uh, and uh, I would like to open up if you have anything you want to ask, so we, we still have. About 40 minutes before the end of the class, so quite a lot of times for, for, for Q&A. So if you have anything you would like to ask regarding this class or regarding this, the, the few week class like last week class is, is still fine. You can still ask us uh, because me and Austin is over here. They also we can answer you uh, regarding the technical one. So Austin can support you and regarding the competition or application development. Yes, I'm here to, to assist you. So if you have any question, yes, feel free to, to, to ask. Right. OK, and also like, um, yeah, so today we, we uh, I'm not sure if. Uh, Ty OC is here, uh, I think he's here. So can you please briefly uh, summarize what we have uh, learned today, like what I've said just now and um, summarize this thing in Thai? Uh, hi, Jeffrey, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, hello. วันนี้นะครับก็เป็นในส่วนของเอ่อเปเปอร์ที่เป็นเอ่อบอดี้โมชั่นเนาะโดยที่เอ่อก็เอ่อบรีฟแรกก็คือเอ่อลิงก์ทั้งหมดนะครับที่ที่เขาโชว์อยู่บนจอนะครับก็เอ่อสามารถที่จะเข้าไปดูเอ่อรายละเอียดต่างๆนะครับของออนไลน์คลาสรูมนะครับได้ที่ลิงก์แรกเนาะแล้วก็เอ่อส่วนในลิงก์ที่เป็นแมทเทอเรียลนะครับก็จะเป็นลิงก์ที่2แล้วก็เอ่อใครมีคําถามอะไรก็สามารถไปถามในคลาสกรุ๊ปได้นะครับโดยที่วันนี้นะครับก็ได้พูดถึงไทม์ไลน์นะครับของการทำบอดี้โมชั่นต่างๆเนาะแล้วก็พูดถึงการทำตัวพรีเซ t แอนิเมชันนะครับโดยที่แอสไซเมนต์สำหรับวันนี้เนี่ยก็คือเขาจะให้เราทำการเ,เขียนโปรแกรมนะครับโดยที่เมื่อใดที่มีใครสักคนเนี่ยมายืนอยู่หน้าหุ่นหรือว่าเปเปอร์เนี่ยดีเทคเจอบางคนเนาะก็จะใหเอ่อทำการเอ่อทำเกสเจอร์หรือว่าทำการทักทายผู้คนนะครับโดยที่เอ่อมีรีควอร์เมนต์สองข้อนะครับก็คือข้อแรกก็คือเอ่อเมื่อใดที่โปรแกรมรันอยู่เนี่ยก็หุ่นยนต์มันจะสามารถเอ่อเซฮัลโหลกับพีเพิลได้ตลอดเวลาเนาะแล้วก็เมื่อใดที่แตะที่หัวเอ่อเปเปอร์นะครับก็จะให้โปรแกรมเนี่ยหยุดทํางานนะครับแต่ว่าเขาก็มีเอ่อสังเกตชั่นบางอย่างมาให้นะครับเพื่อเพิ่มเอ่อความซับซ้อนของแอปพลิเคชันที่เอ่อเราจะใช้งานนะครับเช่นเอ่อบางครั้งเนี่ยการที่เราจะเอ่อทักทายนะครับคนที่อายุมากกว่าอายุมากกว่าเท่านี้อายุเท่าไหร่เนี่ยก็ถ้ายิ่งเอ่อทำให้มันแตกต่างกันในแต่ละบุคคลโดยที่เราสามารถที่จะใช้ในส่วนของฟีเจอร์ต่างๆที่เราเรียนมาในคลาสที่เป็นอิมเมจแล้วเนี่ยเอ่อมาช่วยมารวมกันเนี่ยก็จะทำให้เอ่อตัวแอปพลิเคชันของเราเนี่ยน่าสนใจขึ้นนะครับแล้วก็ตอนนี้เปิดเอ่อเซสชันที่เป็นในส่วนของเอ่อ Q&A เซสชันแล้วนะครับหากท่านใดมีคาถามเนี่ยก็สามารถที่จะยกมือแล้วก็ถามเป็นภาษาไทยหรือภาษาอังกฤษก็ได้นะครับโอเคเจฟฟรีย์ right yeah thanks a lot for your uh, summary and and I I I think like you have covered like all the key important point okay so um if there is no other question yeah we we may can uh, close the session uh thanks a lot for for coming
uh, attending this class and I look forward to look uh, to, to to see you again for next week. So next week uh, is the final class and we will focus on the application development. Uh, but for Pepper, we will talk about the body, uh, sorry, the, the motion uh, and also the display. Then we will um, summarize a bit about the competition preparation. So if uh, you would like to join, uh, our at home education challenge in, in Bangkok and also the online challenge. Yes, um, next week definitely uh, will be something that you don't want to miss because like we have a lot of tips for the for the competition. OK, so uh, I look forward to see you again uh, next week. And also um, I would like to say thanks to Austin and also Ling Chong, uh, SoftBank Robotics uh, uh, support uh, for this class. And hopefully uh, we will we will we will together show you more demo next week uh, and, and also like I look forward for the workshops and also the competition after this. OK, so thanks a lot. I would like to close the session now, uh, although it's slightly uh, early, but I, I think we have completed uh, all that we need to do today. Right. Uh, thanks a lot and, and see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you.